found out my wife was flirting with a former lover. Advice So, I 33, male, and my wife 31, female, have been together for five years, and have two kids 3, female, and 1, female. Things between us developed quickly, and she got pregnant. We moved in together rapidly before the baby was born, and our mutual life began. After our first daughter was born, we were elated, of course. But, my wife started developing some form of postpartum depression. She wasn't accustomed to staying at home for so long as she had been very active with work and her social life before the pregnancy. One day, my wife told me she was feeling really depressed and emotionally drained and was going to talk to a male friend from work, let's call him John, with whom she had a deeper bond, sharing dreams, meditation, etc., because I couldn't understand or wouldn't listen to her problems. By the way, around that time, I was breaking my back working long hours to provide for our family. My wife told me they would only have coffee nearby our house, and I said okay, but asked if she had anything more with the guy and she said no. I wasn't that happy with her seeing another man for help, and she got defensive, and even said I was being insecure. So my wife and her co-worker had their coffee for about an hour, and I stayed at home changing diapers. This was when our first daughter was around seven to eight months old. This was in late 2019. Fast forward to the summer of 2022, we had already had our second daughter, and I noticed my wife becoming a little distant, maybe complacent with everything. We had regular bedroom activities, but I almost always initiated it. One day, after some action, while we were talking, she said something about me being a jealous type. I asked when had I been jealous or showed jealousy, and she brought up her meeting with John, to which I replied with a huff, and said that I reacted like that because I knew they had been sleeping together in the past which of course I didn't know. She was a little flustered, but said, So what? That was a long time ago. I was hopping mad because she had lied to me. The next day, I decided to check her phone and saw texts between them. I found nothing serious, but there was some slight flirting in there. They weren't texting regularly, maybe once or twice a month. What got my attention was, she never mentioned me by name or in any other way, in all of their conversations, while he regularly mentioned his wife. My wife was always talking about her daily life, the kids, etc., but never me. This is probably because she thought this would be a turn-off for the guy, just my explanation. He invited her to lunch a few times, and she accepted, but they never actually met. After that, while in motherhood, the company she had been working at released her, but she and John continued to communicate now and then. I had a hunch and opened another social media she has, and there it was again, the same conversations. This time, however, the conversation was from two years ago but, nevertheless, she was initiating the discussions and was complimenting the guy a lot on how smart he was, how he could find solutions to any problem at work etc. John thanked her and asked how she had been doing. She told him about her daily routine and the kids and said the only thing she missed was the meditation and the other thing that went along with it also you are one of the primary reasons I want to come back to the office. I was so angry, even though this conversation was from two years ago. I asked her, what the hell, do you have anything for this guy? At first, she tried to play dumb and said she didn't remember the conversation 
then began to accuse me of invading her privacy. Then she started to defend herself and said that she was not flirting. When she saw how agitated and firm I was she confessed that she had been teasing a bit, but not with the intention to cheat, to boost her ego. I demanded that she cut contact with the guy, and she agreed. Now she seems remorseful, wants to rehabilitate herself, and insists there was nothing more than just texting. To be honest, I'm disappointed by her. I feel insulted and betrayed. Her longing and complimenting another man like that make me feel offended as a man. I don't plan to leave, but I doubt I would ever trust her fully. I need to hear some thoughts and advice. One reader suggests O.P. get a DNA test and O. responded the kids look and act like me so no need for a DNA test. O.P. went on to say to the ones that suggest he leave, the only reason why I don't leave is because of the kids, but he warned his wife if something like this happens again he is gone. Story 2 Several years after affairs and reconciliation still feels failed with BPD partner. Need some advice. Hey guys. This is my first post here, although I have been reading tons of posts recently that have helped a ton in dealing with my situation of infidelity. I really appreciate everyone's posts and stories here. My fiancé and I have been together for 7.5 years and found several instances of infidelity with four different men, three sexting slash calling slash emotional and the most recent was physical slash emotional. The most recent, and worst, case of infidelity was early 2020. The worst part is that this physical-slash-emotional affair was with a tattoo artist, and she has a large ribcage tattoo from before we dated. So now, every time I see this tattoo, it is a massive trigger for me. It's strange, but I feel it's almost as if he branded her like a piece of property. I should also note that my fiancé has borderline personality disorder, BPD which I guess in some weird way made me feel sympathy even though it is not an excuse. People with BPD are known to have awful impulse control and anger-slash-rage spells, which makes me even more nervous for the future because it's almost as if she can't help herself. She is now two sessions into therapy for basically her mood swings, outrage, and depression, but I highly doubt it will help with her impulsivity and how it relates here. And even if it did, it still doesn't change the past of what happened. I have tried and tried to move past these affairs, but after going on three years later, the trust is gone, and I constantly feel like a police investigator trying to quickly scroll through her phone when she leaves the room to find more proof, checking her deleted photos, overthinking things every time she leaves the house and just living in fear that this will inevitably happen again due to the frequency of how this has happened before. Every time I try and discuss the affairs with her because of my concerns, she breaks down emotionally. She says something along the lines of it's either you forgive me, or you don't basically giving an ultimatum that she is past the point of discussing any further. She also says things like, I have paid for my mistakes over and over again, which pisses me off. As if we don't pay for our partner's infidelity every single day. I don't think she knows the depth of her betrayal. Now just last week I found out that she has been Facebook searching for one of her old FWB flings from years before we dated, not an AP. I should also mention that all previous APs were men that she had some sort of history with, exes, friends, etc. That being said, this instance of her Facebook search for this friend is driving my anxiety through the roof. 
I know it probably isn't that big of a deal to some, but it is to me given that I laid down boundaries that she is not to search or be Facebook friends with any exes or such. I feel like this crosses that line in the sand, given her history. I feel like I can't ever trust her again, and it seems as though this shady type of activity will never stop, always causing me to worry and to be paranoid. I feel so defeated and drained. Everything feels forced now. I barely want to kiss her anymore, hugs feel empty, and sex feels extremely distant. It just feels like I am trying to piece everything back together and act like it was never broken. How would you guys react if this happened to you? Am I making a bigger deal out of this instance than it really is? Sorry for the lengthy post, but I really do appreciate everything in advance for the help. Readers comment. Why on earth are you still with this woman? I did not read your story in detail because it simply was too depressing. But I got the gist of it. Don't tell me you love her. Someone who behaves the way she does is not worthy of your love. All she does is cheat on you yet you keep coming back for more. Please get into counseling to address why you are so willing to accept such abuse slash betrayal from this person. Thank God you are not married and have no children. Please do yourself a big favor and kick her out and go and see with her from this point forward. By the way, what you discovered may simply be the tip of the iceberg. Work on yourself physically and emotionally. Please do not sell yourself short by staying with an extremely damaged individual that will continue to inflict pain on you. You do not deserve such shoddy treatment. Respect yourself and move on ASAP. Readers comment. Thanks for the detail on this one. I am glad your reconciliation is going well and I am glad it's working out for you. It sounds like you did it the right way and I did not, unfortunately. I took her back each and every time which is totally on me. So to clarify, when you talk with your spouse about the affair if you need to, she responds well and is open about discussing whatever you need to know. Mine acts like a child that does not want to admit they did something wrong. She starts crying and playing the pity card. Getting defensive and saying I am trying to catch her in a lie, which I have caught many. Saying that she has paid for her mistakes over and over again, which we know is not true, especially in her case. What does that payment look like? Guilt? Sorrow for herself? I'm not buying it anymore. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and I will see you in the following video.